Well, there's some new news about Legends EA that seems a little bit concerning to me. I'm just going to hop right into it. So basically, Riddler Ku on Twitter, you guys already know about him. You've heard about him, I'm sure. He says, well, Akaku art style looks similar to Titan. Akaku is referring to Legends EA. That's the code name for Legends ZA. And Titan is Scarlet and Violet. So anytime in the future, if you hear somebody say Titan or Akaku, just know that Titan is referring to Scarlet and Violet. Akaku is... Pokemon Legend ZA. So there's actually a lot that he could be meaning by this because the art style is different from like the graphics, right? Like the art style of Scarlet and Violet is kind of like a pastel oil kind of like a, like a soft pastel vibe going on. Also, if you guys don't mind leaving a like on this video, subscribing to the channel, and comment down below what brand new mega Pokemon you think we're gonna get in Legends EA. Any help goes a super long way and I really appreciate it. And the reason why this is concerning is because Scarlet and Violet, the graphics were subpar, you know what I mean? Like they were just not there. They did not meet expectations, especially since Legends Arceus came out before Scarlet and Violet and Legends Arceus graphics are way better than Scarlet and Violet. And there's also the debate of Breath of the Wild looking amazing on the Switch, which is true, like, Breath of the Wild looks so good, and then we have Scarlet and Violet. A lot of people are like, well, that's because Scarlet and Violet has to render in a bunch of wild Pokemon, which is true, but I'm pretty sure, like, only up to, like, 15 or something Pokemon spawn at a time. Like, it's nothing major or drastic that should, that should compromise the graphic quality of the entire game, so I don't know. But here's the thing, I think Scarlet and Violet does look impressive sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, there's some... Some some renderings of the wild Pokemon or your Pokemon look so good. Like, I think the designs of the Pokemon look great. And I definitely like the art style they were going for. The execution was not that great. The game just had so many bugs and so many issues. And at times, the graphic quality looked really bad. Like, it, the textures just looked terrible. The models, I think the models overall look pretty good. I'm not saying they're perfect. They definitely could be improved on. Like, here's a reply in the comment section of this tweet. This guy posted a picture of Eevee. See, like, my point is, the graphics is different from the art style, so I don't know what he's really referring to, and there are some potential leaks out there, I can't show any photos, I'm, I'm too afraid to show photos, just in case I get a copyright strike, just because I don't know what's gonna happen, I don't know if these are actually real or not, but I'm gonna explain it for you. So basically, on a PC, on a computer, there was like a test demo playthrough type of thing of what apparently is Legend ZA, and you basically go through a city, and it kind of looks believable. I don't know if it's real or not, I really have no idea. Pro it could probably be fake, but it could be real, and I think it's important to talk about just because what I saw in that footage was the scale of the buildings was exactly like how I was talking about a couple weeks ago, and how I thought of just like, from the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl concept artwork where basically the scale of the buildings is is like real like how we we are in real life you know you go to a, a city and there's tall buildings rather than how you know in the og pokemon games a city is like one or two buildings or like in scarlet and violet you know the city was pretty big but it just kind of felt i don't know something about that felt lifeless in a way I, I don't know if that makes sense or anything but this city seems really full of life but in that pc test footage once again, I'm not 100% sure if that's real or fake or not, but I figured it's important to bring up just because it could be legit. And apparently that is what the test, and apparently that's what the leaker actually played through, meaning he said it was laggy, he said the game was enjoyable, but laggy. And it's probably because it was on the PC, like it was a PC test demo of Legends EA, not like the full actual game on the Nintendo Switch, if that makes sense. And the, the game looks pretty good. There, there wasn't a ton. Like, it wasn't an in-depth video. It, it wasn't, like, anything crazy. It was kind of just, like, the camera panning through the city a little bit. I think there was, like, a close-up picture of a Pokemon. And if the art style, like, Riddler Koo was talking about, like, if the art style is going for, like, that creative kind of, like, pastel kind of soft look to it, I think that's great as long as the textures and everything look good. Like, I don't want the game to just look like, you know, like, 2010 Nintendo Wii stuff, you know what I mean? Like, Scarlet and Violet low-key look like Wii graphics, which, you know, I love the Wii, the Wii's awesome, but, you know, we're in 2024, and this game is coming out 2025. The graphics should be pretty impressive. And what also is interesting is that it seems like Game Freak, or the Pokemon company, Nintendo, it seems like they're really basing the future off of Scarlet and Violet, which I find really weird, because just like how this tweet says the art style is similar to Scarlet and Violet, and then Generation 10 leaks suggested that they're gonna have some sort of connection to Scarlet and Violet, you know, with the- they brought up Terrapagos, which is the legendary turtle Pokemon that came out in the Scarlet and Violet DLC, like how it's connected and there's islands and how somehow the turtle- and like somehow the turtle created an island or something like that. Obviously, Generation 10 would take place in a different region, but it seems like they're really basing everything 
off of Scarlet and Violet, or at least that was like their initial plans, because maybe originally they thought Scarlet and Violet were going to be just a huge hit, which they were, like they sold like crazy. Like I'm pretty sure they're one of the most sold Pokemon games of all time, but the reviews were not great just because of the, the graphical errors and mistakes and the bugs and glitches with that game were just so it was so much that it really affected a lot of people's playthrough of the game so i don't really know what to think about this central leaks also tweeted about this but he gave credit to riddler q about that and like there are just so many other things coming out right now and the thing is like i'm not even sure what i'm able to show or not i'm really trying to not show any specific photos of the leaked files because once again like I've had videos in the past getting taken down by Nintendo or Game Freak or whoever it was. I don't even remember who it was, but I've had videos been taken down before because I showed a picture of some of a leak and I took my video down, which, you know, makes sense. But this is kind of different because it's like everybody has seen this stuff. Like everybody interested in Pokemon knows about all these leaks and all the unreleased Pokemon, unreleased, you know, sprites, unused stuff. And it's crazy stuff. Like if you want to go look at Centro Leaks on Twitter, it, he has posted just so many different things. But, you know, going back to the Scarlet and Violet art style, like, if, if they really improve on what Scarlet and Violet was, like, like let's say they have Scarlet and Violet graphics as, like, the borderline, like, the base information or whatever in their, in their graphical generator. I don't know anything about making video games, so I'm gonna try to say all, all of this in, you know, stupid terms, you know what I mean? So let's just say they have the base code for Scarlet and Violet, the base build of that entire game, and they just build upon it and optimize it better for the Nintendo Switch, because apparently... Legend ZA is coming out on the Switch, not the Switch 2, just the Switch, which I thought it was going to be on the Switch 2, but like I said, things are still bound to change, and I'm wondering if this is going to delay Legend ZA. Like, I'm really worried about this game being delayed by a lot just because of all the leaks and stuff and, and the rumors, like, what if they're going to change this or change that? But basically, if they build upon what Scarlet and Violet was, I think the game could look really good because like I said, I know I'm repeating myself, but art style is different from graphics. You know what I mean? Like, Legends Arceus in my opinion, kind of had like a, kind of like a storybook sort of art style to me. It wasn't like a storybook game necessarily, but you know, I thought Legends Arceus was super creative looking and I don't, I don't think that they would give us the, an exact replica of what Scarlet and Violet was. I don't think that they would want to risk that. And the reason why I'm saying that is because Legends EA was supposed to be released this year. It, it was initially supposed to be a 2024 release, but it got delayed till 2025. And it's probably because they were working on it before Scarlet and Violet. And then when Scarlet and Violet came out, everyone was complaining about the graphics and they're like, uh oh, we gotta fix Legend ZA. So I'm hoping they're just gonna do like what the Sonic people did with the Sonic movie and just do a rehaul on it and make it better. You know what I mean? As long as the graphics look good, that's all that matters. And if the game doesn't lag or freeze, that's all that matters because Legends Arceus, once again, I thought was great. The graphics looked so good. And Scarlet and Violet, even though it had all its bugs and glitches, I still really enjoy my playthrough. So as long as the game is fun and it doesn't, you know, freeze and lag all the time. I'm going to be happy and uh, hopefully it's a good storyline, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to stay tuned for future updates about whatever's going on with Legends EA.